a very oh. good afternoon, everybody. Yeah. I'm doing fine. How are you? I hope you're doing well. Thank you for uh, tuning in. I got my brain shot. I got my brain shot. Congratulations, Dayo. <laughs> you make uh, mandarin juice. Mm. <laughs> that will be tasty. <laughs> So I am making my soup. I'm warming my soup. Yes, guys, I'm still on my soup diet, which is day four today, four. And uh, so I'm only two days left to go to the festival. And I'm like, yeah! I'm excited. I, I realized that I never really explained which festival I was going to, but it is Latin Village. Latin Village. And then Latin Village, Everything is possible with music. Everything is like from Latin to salsa to merengue to well, that's all Latin anyway. Uh, Afro house, hip hop, Afro house, Latin house, like everything you can think of that has to do with a Caribbean, Caribbean vibe is Latin village. So you can understand how excited I am because it's been a while since I really bought it. And it's even my birthday. It's on my birthday, y'all. I'm gonna turn 35 this year. Yay, this girl's turning 35, which is another milestone in my life. And um, we need to celebrate it. Unfortunately, I cannot bring my children. It's gonna be too crowded, and I think they're gonna be tired after like 10 minutes. Ah! But I will do also a nice birthday with my children, with my family, and um, we're planning to go to the beach when it's still going to be nice weather because the weather is a little bit... Hmm. But yeah, for festival it's, it's good. You don't want it to be too hot, but for the beach we want nice sunny weather, so yeah. We'll see when it's time to go. So in today's video, I'm gonna do my own hair and I'm gonna show you guys how I do it. I saw a very nice picture on the inter internet and I thought, okay, I like that. And I think I can do that myself because uh, my hairstylist is a little bit occupied. So um, normally I have somebody that do it for me and because he does it very, very tight and very nice and you know, there's no mistakes and everything's good and clear. But, but now he doesn't really have time. So I thought of a style that I can do myself. My sister, my friend, she make like the sections for me because that's very difficult for me to do myself. I can do it, but... It's faster if somebody else do it for you, so she did that, but I'm gonna do the rest myself. And um, yeah, if you wanna see how I do it, keep watching this video. All right, so I'm ready, let's begin. And this is the hair I got, and as you can see, it's a very long, very extra long, long. And the plan is to make like, this is 11 make 11 big braids and then make them tall and long and pretty okay so i just had an unexpected call for my uh, hair stylist and um he has time to do it for me so i'm gonna pack my things and let him do it because i think it's better that somebody else does it so that it's you know perfect and neat I can do it myself too, but yeah, since he said he can do it, I will let him do it. So um, I discussed it with him, we're going to make the video at this place, so we'll see you in a minute. So I have arrived at my salon, My my look at my salon, it's a home salon. My good friends, like almost 
brother from another mother. <laughs> Say hi to the camera. Hey, <laughs> So uh, we're gonna do it a little bit more different mm -hmm. because now uh, the professional is uh, on my head. And um, it's always better if somebody else does your hair. I think it's better for your hair and it will also uh, work out better because I was already thinking how am, am I gonna do the back I was looking videos on the internet checking how I can do the back myself I think it, it would have worked out eventually but I was happy when you called me <laughs> yeah yes introduce yourself Okay. Tell a little bit about yourself. Who are you? Um, I'm Jess. Mm. That's it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a hairdresser and I work... Um, who's here in the world? Um, I don't know. Yeah. But he works with food. Yes. In, a, in a, like a lunch room. Mm -hmm. Yeah, here in Fenlo. So if you want to come and eat something, you're welcome. In Fenlo! V Town, hey! <laughs> You're promoting Vendor. <Wendler. laughs> and uh, for how long are you doing here? Um, I think that life. I was like seven years old when I wow. um, started learning how to braid and make everybody beautiful. That's nice. Who mm -hmm. teach you? My mother. Ah, okay. Yes. You see, after all these years I knew Joe, I never knew that, huh? <laughs> Really? No, I never knew oh. that you learned when you were seven and that your mom teach you. Yes, my mother teach me that. I never so. asked you that. That's good. That's very good. I learned it by somebody who did my hair. I think I was 12. That's mm -hmm. when I learned how to braid hair. But I... The first time it was really crappy. I did it to someone and it was really... Oh, okay. Yeah, the first time is always uh, a little bit difficult. Yeah, but then after a few times, it started to get better and better and I started to do it on myself. And it's always good when you know how to do it yourself. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I, I know Jer how many years. 12 years, <laughs> I, think. <laughs> I think from the yes. beginning I came to Venlo, I think, yes. when I was um, 21. It was an instant connection. Yeah, I came to Venlo and we met through someone else and um, it was immediately uh, on. And since then we always been friends. Yes. Never had a fight. No. Sometimes we have like moments that we don't see each other. Mm -hmm. That's friendship. That, that's that's yeah, friendship. That's good, right? You don't yeah. have to see each other every day or every time. So. No. And every time I see you, we're still the same. Yes. Well, a little bit different. Yes. <laughs> In a good way. <laughs> In a good way, yes. But we, we are still yeah. a good friend. I like that. It's somehow a little bit rare here in Denver. Mm hmm. To have good contact with somebody. That's true. Yeah. Because you're also not from Venlo, right? No, I'm from. Uh, well, I was born in Venlo. Mm -hmm. And um, I lived in. All my life I lived in Limburg, but I grew up in uh, Roermond. Oh, yes. And Horen. And I've lived in Velden, in Venlo. And in Horn, in Tegelen, <laughs> and now I'm back in Venlo. So I'm, I'm a Limburg girl. Limburg girl. <laughs> yeah, I'm really a Limburg girl. And you, you were born here? No, nee. I was born in the Netherlands, yes, but I was born in uh, Dordrecht. Oh yeah, Dordrecht. Yes, I'm from Dordrecht. And Jer, Jer is originally from Suriname. Yes, big up, big up. A proud Suriname. <laughs> Yeah. I still like to go to Suriname one day. Yeah, Have you, you been there? Yes, when I was little. 
I do have to go back, but um, it's not in my budget right now. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I understand. It's not. Uh, it's also not next to the door. No. <laughs> it's like uh, how many hours? Six? No, ten hours no. flying. Yes, ten or more. If you go straight. It's ten, I think. But I would love to go to Suriname. I like the culture. You teach me a lot about Suriname mm -hmm. culture. I didn't know. Yeah, Suriname. Great culture, great history. Yeah. Plus, it's okay. History is a little bit fucked up, but it's still. Yeah, <laughs> well, all yes. the history is a little bit uh, messed up. Yes. And um, well, hidden. Excuse my language. No, it's okay. <laughs> I will beep it out. <laughs> beep! <laughs> Yeah, so it's nothing we can do about that. No. But I know that Suriname helped to build Netherlands mm -hmm. the way it is now. Yeah, they did a lot. Yeah. And Suriname music always reminds me of Africa. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I think the, the beat and the rhythm. Yes. It's, uh, it's very similar. Mm -hmm. And also your dressing. Oh, how you call this thing? Pani? Yes, yes, the, 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 yes. the funny uh, around your waist. Yeah. In Africa, I don't know how they call it. They call it different. Okay. I forgot the name. Yeah, the funny, yeah. Mm -hmm. um, are you going to make the curls at the end or? Mm, no, I cannot find my papillots. I don't know where they are. But you can you can let me break the the rest. Yeah. <laughs> what? You can let me break the finish. Yes. Yeah. Because I will, I want it to be at the end. Till the end. Because you can use the brush, the end of the brush. And then you have to do them one by one. Stick them in hot water. We can do that, but I think it will also be nice to keep the length. Okay. Just keep it longer, longer. Yeah. But I like I like the change of color. I don't know if you see it on the camera, but it's from dark to light. Just like me. <laughs> Just like you. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going from dark to light. Wow, I already love it. So Joe's gonna show us how to do this yes. beautiful style. First I'm gonna part this hair in sections. I make it triangles. And as you can see here, I'm mm. gonna make everything look like this. Nice and tight. Nice and tight, yes. <laughs> and I'm um, using the knotless um, oh, yeah. method. The knotless method. For me, it's very hard to do this method. I Jer teach me, uh, like last week, we did two girls together to braid the whole head. Two it was girls, like one hat. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it was a lot of, a lot of, a lot of work. Yes. But um, what we did it. Yes. I make this nice and tight. So that you can see the shape of the triangle really good. Do you prefer this style or the normal style of braiding? Um, I like this style more and um, I, I think because it's much tighter mm. so I don't know um, I, I don't use the, the other style anymore Okay, okay Yes And what do you prefer? 
Well, I just know this style, so. But I, I, I think it looks more beautiful. Yes, yes. I think the knotless looks more beautiful than the, than the normal one. With the normal one, you have like a little knot at the beginning, and here is just seamless. You see. So, what I used to do when I'm um, doing an, um, a knotless is I part these two and I also part the triangle in two sections. Oh, in two? Yes. I thought in three. No, in two. And then I'll begin my braiding. Oh, no pain, no gain. No pain, no gain. Yes, it's. And this is the outcome. I love it. And how do you make all those hairs uh, tuck in? Oh, um. Even kijken hoor, dat is een goede vraag. <laughs> um, Did you use the cream? No, I, when I braid, I rotate. So oh. that's how I get the hair nice and tight. Okay. You guys, is the professional here. That's why I like to come to Joe because he knows what he's doing. <laughs> <laughs> I have to turn the camera <laughs> all the way up. <laughs> <laughs> and since I can breathe too, I will breathe the rest of the bread. Did you also go to um, school to learn this or? Oh no, no, I just learned it from home. Mm -hmm. So I, my mother used to do lots of uh, braiding, weaving, crocheting, all the things uh, that you can do with hair. Mm -hmm. And I used to watch her every time she had a client over. And I was really interested to learn how to do it so I can help her. Okay. Well, yeah. That's nice. Mm -hmm. And this is how I get my money sometimes. <laughs> so yeah, you, you don't even have to go to a school to no, learn this. No, no. I didn't go to any school to learn this. I think yeah, most most African uh, oh, slash people. black people yes. learn it from home. Yeah. I also learn it from a black lady. She was also from Suriname. Oh, which one? Uh, Faradi. I don't know if you know her, but no. she lives in Romont. Oh, okay. And she used to come um, and braid my hair for me. Yes. And then one day I told her, let's do it in front of the mirror and I can see what you're doing. Because I had the interest to learn. Okay. And then uh, <clears throat> I just started doing it with other girls. From there. But I, I went to the barber school, but more for European hair. Yeah. So I and know how to cut. But they don't teach you uh, how to braid in the first two classes. No, okay. no. In the first yeah. two years, you only learn how to cut. Yes. European hair, women. Or how to fix a perm. Yeah, perm and uh, water, uh, water weave. Yes. Water weaves. And uh, all those uh, fancy styles. Yes. Those, they want uh, me those Queen know. Beatrix. Uh, <laughs> 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 Queen it's Beatrix. Princess style. Beatrice now. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know if you guys know who Queen Beatrix is, but this was our former queen of the Netherlands. Yes, and she always had a beautiful piece of hair. Right? Yeah, <laughs> uh, I know how to do it. <laughs> but I, I really like the barber's barber shop, barber's education. I really like it. Yes. Yeah. Only the gossip, you know. Yeah. <laughs> they gossip too much. <laughs> barbers. I think that's in every. Every country, every place where you go, I think yeah. that the barbers know everything. Barbers and nail stylists. Yes. They literally know everything. It's because people are comfortable to tell them mm -hmm. anything. 
It's the same as in the in the cafe. You know, I worked five years in a cafe. Mm -hmm. It's also a place where a lot of gossip. People, um, when they feel comfortable with you, they will tell their stories, mm -hmm. their secrets, sometimes unintended. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, you have like a certain confidential confidentiality yeah. yes. that you have to keep yourself to. Yeah. I think, but it's not for most people. No, unfortunately. But um, I always like it when people tell their story to me. Mm -hmm. It gives me, um, yeah, a feeling of uh, they trust me. Feeling of trust, yes. And they they appreciate me also. Mm -hmm. so I will not tell a story to someone who's not serving me well. Yeah, that's true. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, so every time we're here, we always uh, catch Telling up. Telling our stories. <laughs> yeah, to each other, we catch up. Yes. And um, it's good. So you want me to part these two also into uh, triangles? Or do you want something else? I think you should keep doing what the you're doing. triangles, try. yes? Yeah. Okay. Keep doing what you're doing. As long as they like equal. Because mm -hmm. um, Meluska did her best to make the nice parts. Yes, yeah, she parted really well. Yes. Yeah. She did her best. Meluska is also going to the festival, guys, yes. but she's a little bit uh, camera shy, so I don't know if I can convince her to be in my camera. <laughs> I told her yesterday that um, I'm gonna vlog, and she almost got a heart attack. <laughs> Literally. <laughs> she was like, uh. I said, Didn't you expect me to go and vlog? She's like, Well, no, it's your birthday, and we just wanna enjoy. You see, yeah, I also wanna enjoy. It doesn't mean I'm not gonna vlog. I'm not gonna vlog the whole day. Mm -hmm. But of course, I cannot go to a festival and not bring my camera. Yay! And it's, it's always a nice vibe, but when I bring my camera in strange places, not in Vendo, because in Vendo people look at me like, girl, what you doing here with your cameras? <laughs> Put it away. But in Amsterdam and big cities, they always, uh, always oh, yes. like it. Yes. And the last time I was in Arnhem with a um, Nee, in Nijmegen. Nijmegen is Vierdaagse. En dus, dus young children, like 18, 19 years, ik heb oh. mijn camera en talk in. They even uh, put my YouTube on their phones. Oh, that's nice. Yeah. They make like new abonnees. So, so it's a good thing, it's promoting myself. Yeah. Okay. If she doesn't want to be, I respect that and uh, I, will, I will try to cut her out. <laughs> <laughs> But I think I can convince her. To, to just say hello. And she's really beautiful, guys. So yeah, it's a beautiful woman. I don't know why she's shy. Yeah, so shy. I don't know why she's shy. I don't know, but um, we'll see. We'll see. <laughs> Maybe she needs some uh, some cocktails to get over it. I will feed her some margaritas. <laughs> It's a mojito. <laughs> no, it's gonna be fun. I'm really looking forward to it. Unfortunately, you cannot come. Mm, you have to work. Yes, I'm always busy, busy. Yeah. Otherwise, I would blow up that place with you. Je is always with me every every year birthday. We used to celebrate it in the cafe where I work. Yes. And uh, I was celebrating my, my birthday and working <laughs> at the same time, every single year. And a few years I arranged that somebody came and helped me, but I still have to go behind the bar because it was so busy every year. Yeah. My, my birthday was always the best party. Yes, yes. yes. I think <laughs> Without that this bragging. Is missing your birthday. Yes, it really is. So it was really good. Mm-hmm. But this year I'm just gonna celebrate it with Emmanuel, Victoria. Victoria's brother. No, Victoria cannot come, she has to work. Oh. She's also busy. Yeah. Busy bee. She has to work. 
And now, uh, yeah, I'm in Luska then. My sister from another mister. <laughs> I also know Miluska for like 12 years. She's always been my big sister. Yeah, from really day nice. one. Yeah. Good woman. So 35, guys. I'm gonna be 35. <laughs> Do you remember when you were 35? Uh, it was a long time ago, I think like <laughs> 10 years ago. No, 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 no. it's like no. 4 years. For me, no. Um, you were no, 38? Two. No, I, no. You are 37? Yes. Oh. Yes. Sorry. I'm <laughs> 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 37, yes. 37, 38. Three, 3 years left and then uh, I'm hitting the new 20. New twenty, <laughs> double twenty. Yes. <laughs> yeah, we're on the way to forty. Oh my god! But I, I, I'm looking forward to forties. Mm -hmm. It's just that I still have to work very hard now yeah. to be comfortable in my forties. Yes. And um, I know what my struggles are. I know what my, my. Mm, Minorities are so that's what I'm, I will work on very hard in my 35. Mm -hmm. That's that's my uh, good Your goal. <laughs> my goal yeah. for 35 is to work on uh, the things that I I come short right now. Yeah, the things you like. Yeah. So the bad habits. The bad habits, which is uh, consistency. But on the other hand, I'm very consistent with at least one thing, which is the gym. <laughs> yeah, and that yeah. that thing, I think YouTube. And yeah, well, I could do better with that. Oh, okay. I could do better with YouTube, but I know now what my struggle is. It's coming from fear, a little bit. I still have that fear in me to be comfortable from the camera. Oh, really? But not with you and me. It's, you know, I know you for yes. for long, and now I'm also more comfortable. Front of the camera alone, okay. but in public places and how to oh yeah yeah how yeah. to interact with other people that maybe don't want to be in the camera or I don't know just yes. for me to walk around somewhere people looking at me like what what the hell what are you doing it, but it's, it's more here in Fenlo I think yeah it's in, in Fenlo because right? in, in the big city it's no more strange everybody's uh, doing it in the big city mm -hmm. so it's no more that strange. But also here in Venlo, I have to get used to it. So, um, I'm looking forward to that in my 35, to work hard on that, and um, and my body to get my body uh, in shape. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Also, getting my body in shape has never <laughs> been a problem for me, but keeping it there—that's the thing. Well, well said. <laughs> yeah, that's the thing. Because in 2020, when the Corona hit. I already I lost like ten kilo in like three months. Wow. I was like You gave them to me, right? I, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I gained them. <laughs> I went to sixty two kilo in like three months. I wow. really went for it, but well it was too fast I think. And something happened in my life and immediately I got back to zero. So it's not only Hitting the gym, it's also changing your lifestyle. Yes, changing your food, your diet. Yeah, you need to have so much change and in your life. Everything is expensive right now, so. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, I need to change my battery. If I bring my battery. I hope I brought my battery. <laughs> if I didn't bring my battery, <laughs> there's no videos. <laughs> I think I brought my battery. <laughs> <laughs> so my battery is back charged. <laughs> yeah, it happens, it happens. We are almost done. And I'm loving it. I love this style. I never had this style. It looks so nice. So for everyone that lives in the area of Venlo, if you're looking for someone to do your hair, this guy here can do it for you. I can also do it for you, but I think he can do it better. 
I still um, learning to do this style but um, we are available for you yes. so if you're interested you can hook me up on Facebook in my Facebook descriptions you can find my Instagram hook me up on Instagram I will put uh, Jer's Instagram in the description so you can connect Jer mm -hmm. feel free you're welcome here and um, please we can do any style, we can do weave, we can do braiding, crochet, 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 whatever the name is. <laughs> if you want your hair cut, then you have to come to me. Yes. I don't think, can you cut hair? No, I can cut hair. I only extend. <laughs> <laughs> That's good. Most women won't want that nowadays, so. That's a good Yeah guys, so this is it. This is it. You see? My hair is long, long, long. I really love it. Let me know if you like the style on me. You can tell me in the comments. Let me know if you like it or you think I should have done something different. But I think I don't see this style often, so I thought, okay, let's try it. If I had done it myself, it would have been much bigger braids. It would have been squares and not triangles. But um, I think I love this more. And I have very cool ideas for my outfit, which I can do with this nice part here. So, yay! Let's wait till it's finished. Do you like it? I love it! Yes. Woo. Okay, let me rotate for them. It's a work of art. You did it again. He did it again. I'm happy. Thank you. You're welcome, darling. I love it. Now I'm really on board. Up naar de 35. Appreciate